So before we start, maybe if you want to do a little bit of a brief introduction, and I can do the same. So um, if that helps. Yeah, my name yeah is definitely. So um, my name is Dana Balo. Um, I'm currently a student at VCU Arts. So I'm going to be studying graphic design. And I'm very excited to be doing that. Um, I usually work with like acrylic media and I've recently done some animation too, which is exciting. So for my future prospects, I wanna do like tattoo design maybe, and then more animations definitely. But yeah, I'm just studying at VC right now. That's great. Thanks, Bela. Oh, excuse me, Dana. And how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Dana Bela? Yeah, perfect. Dana Bela, okay. Thank you. That's, are you, and what is your course of study or your major at VC right now? So right now I'm in the art foundation program. So it's like before the major, and then I'm going to be doing graphic design. Graphic design. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Well, my name is Francis Thompson. Uh, I live in Richmond, so I live close to VCU right now, and I manage a corporate art collection in Richmond. Um, so I think I've been in Richmond for about 17 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, cool. We'll go ahead and get started if you're ready. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, Dana Bela, thanks for joining the call today. And also, thank you for submitting your work into the uh, Black Lives Matter RVA exhibition. Your work was selected to be the piece that represents the Black Pastoral Gallery. So I really appreciate that you entered this piece into the exhibition. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I was incredibly excited to see this exhibit going on, actually. Um, when I first like came across it, I was like, oh my God, I think I have to submit to this, especially with everything going on with the BLM movement recently. Like this is so important and it's important to me too. Sure. The image to me really uh, struck me as being really powerful and individual. I felt like uh, I had a sense that you, maybe you had uh, a, somebody that posed for you for this image. And, and it really portrays who they are as an individual and the beauty of, of them at, um, naturally. So can you talk a little bit about how you created the image? Is this from a photograph or somebody that you know? I'm curious just to learn a little bit more about the subject that you depict here. Yeah, of course. I actually drew from a bunch of different pictures. Um, I participated in some of the marches over the summer, the BLM marches. And I was taking pictures and I was just trying to like take it all in. And a lot of the women that I saw during the marches were just so like, so strong and so beautiful. And I wanted to encapsulate that in this picture. So it's not one partic particular person, it's a group of people sort of. Um, and my intention in creating this piece was to encapsulate the beauty of the black community and accentuate that and the strength that so many people have had in this past year, especially. Um, in this piece, like you said, her gaze is fierce and strong and powerful. So it's not hidden in shadow and that was intentional. She's looking towards the light. Um, and I chose to make the background stand out as well. So it's a solid color. Um, it's like a very unapologetic nature that I wanted to portray and I chose to use acrylic brush strokes as well to soften the piece. So a contrast kind of exists between the strength of the woman and then the gentle strokes of the brush. So for the background, I wanted to mention that um, I selected yellow, which is the color of like the sun and of hope and just everything that I think people of color like represent in my eyes, especially. That's great. And Tell me about the medium that you use. I guess this would be sort of software that you put together to draw it, or is that right? Yeah, exactly. So I use Procreate for most of my digital drawings. Um, and there's a whole list of brushes and tools that I can use to create different textures. So for this one, I did a flat round brush for the background, and then I used the acrylic brush for the strokes. Um, that's usually what I use in my physical pieces as well. It's usually acrylic brush on canvas. Very nice. And can you tell me a little bit about uh, how you feel like the piece fits into that particular theme? Like, uh, did you see the, the theme and did you make the piece particular for it? Or was it a piece that you had created and felt like you wanted to submit it? I'm just curious to learn a little bit more about um, your thoughts of how it fits into the 
into the gallery theme. Right. I actually created this piece before I knew about the BLM RVA art competition and or art, art exhibit. And I'm, I thought it fit pretty well. Just like the way she's looking at the viewer, I think really like encapsulates the, the aesthetic beauty of the Black community. Um, so it wasn't particularly for this exhibit, but I thought it really fit, which is why I like ultimately ended up submitting it. And it's, it's a beautiful piece. Thank you. Thanks. And tell me, are, is, if somebody is interested in learning more about your works, are there ways that uh, folks can connect and, and see more information about your works and other works as well? Yeah, for sure. So I have an art account. It's Dana Balo Art. I think it's actually linked on the website. And then I just recently created a portfolio. So it has all of my favorite pieces and pretty much the variety that I do for my pieces. Um, and I'm also starting to do more animation. So I get a lot of music groups coming to me and they're like, oh, can we create an animation for this song or an album cover? And I'm also able to do that. So my most recent animation was three and a half minutes with over like 1,600 individual frames, which was crazy, but um, I can do very long ones, very short ones, just all kinds of stuff. So yeah, wow. I have an Instagram and then a portfolio. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm curious about the those uh, videos that you talked about. Yeah, they take a while. Um, every frame is individually done and I do a lot of it through Procreate. So I create an art and then I move it a little bit and that's how I do the animation. It's like stop motion kind of. Um, and then I match it with the music. So it like flows with the tone and how the music is fluctuating. So I try to make it as like precise as possible. <laughs> That's great. Very nice. And so with this image, do you feel like you're, it's a continuing series or do you have more works that are related to this? I would love to do more of this style, like the solid color and then the softer strokes. Um, I have a few pieces that I've done in the past with a similar style, but it's usually a black background. And all of my pieces recently have um, been focused on like body positivity and like acceptance. So I think that piece fits pretty well into that like theme, but I definitely wanna do more like this, like a brighter background and all portraying some kind of message. Um, I've noticed in the past few months that that's more important to me than creating something that looks pretty to a few people, but more like conveying a message to a larger group of people, if that makes sense. It does. Thanks, Dana. Is there anything else that you'd like to share? Um, let me think. Um, I just wanted to mention that in the future, like I hope to do mural paintings. I don't know how you get into that or like what the process for mural paintings is, but I definitely want to try my hand at that. Um, I think it's an incredible form of art and like the same way like this portrays a certain message, um, a huge mural on the side of a, like a wall or a building can also portray that message, but like to a, a greater group of people. And that's becoming really important in my life right now. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I'd love to see some of your imagery, a large scale. I think that's uh, really ambitious. Um, next step for your work, but just with the the vividness of the figures that you create, I feel like that would be really quite interesting. Thank you, so, I appreciate that. Certainly. Well, thanks for joining today. And if folks want to learn more information about um, Dana's work, you can find a link to your website on the piece page in the exhibition. So I encourage everybody to take a look there. Thanks for joining. Thank you so much. And uh, it's, a, it's a great piece to really showcase what's all the other pieces that are in the virtual exhibition. So I hope you do continue your work with, it's a, it's a great, when I first saw it, it really struck out to me among everything else because of the color in it, the color tones, you know, it had that vividness, but I feel like it's that gaze of the figure. Like it, it really is capturing. And, yeah. and when you see it on screen with your computer, just how it kind of, it really emphasizes more of the color. And I like that painterly look to it. I know as looking at a lot of art, I felt like this is probably made through a, a computer application, but and if it's kind of hard to tell in a way, I like that painterly element to it. 
um, just the way you treat the the white tones in this in the skin it's just it's really beautiful that that reflection and then again that just that gaze looking straight on at the viewer um, yeah really nice no yeah thank you so much that that means a lot to me actually um i spent a while on the eyes because of that like i want it to be intense and intentional so yeah <laughs> well done well keep in touch i'd love to hear about uh, any of your mural projects once you reach that phase awesome and then <laughs> any more uh, digital paintings and other things that you're working on perfect thank you so much